What's good? Today, you're kicking it with Jordan, and we are talking about the Adidas Ultra Boost versus the Nike React Presto. Which one should you get? I'ma let you know. Let's do it. So, quickly speaking, we're gonna look at materials, appearance, comfort and performance, and price point, and that's gonna help us determine which one of these you should go for. Let the battle begin. Let's talk materials. So, when we're talking about the materials, the Adidas Ultra Boost versus the Nike React Presto, both of them feel pretty premium. Um, you see the Adidas Ultra Boost, this is the OG right here, socket type upper, it's all one piece, right? If you hear that and you look at that, this is a knitted upper, right? So this is very nice because it's got a lot of flexibility. It goes with your foot and it's also very snug on foot. It locks down your foot in place the entire day. This also feels great in the summertime because since this is knitted, air just flows freely through there. So on a nice summer day with the breeze, this shoe is going to feel awesome on your foot. Now, on the flip side to that, the Nike React Presto does not use a knit. You can... You can hear that, you can hear that. It's more meshy, it's a mesh-like upper. Um, and I would argue that the Nike React Presto actually was a little bit better because this mesh-like upper, it wasn't as snug as the knit. So, if you're wearing the shoe for six, seven, eight hours, because this fit, because of the mesh, was a little bit more free-flowing, I felt that it did a little bit better for my foot if I was wearing it for a long period of time. You know what I mean? Whereas the Ultra Boost, after like three, four hours in it, it's like, okay, my foot feels like it's being like suffocated. I need to take my shoes off for like a second. So, the Nike React Presto wins this round. Boom. So, if we are talking appearance, one of these shoes sits a lot higher than the other, and it is the Nike React Presto. This shoe right here is a very kind of high shoe. You see that massive bottom when you're wearing it, you feel very high up, right? Doesn't look too bad. It is a little bit chunky. It's like almost like, you know, those dad shoes that are kind of very in style right now. It reminds me of like a sleeker version of a dad shoe almost, right? Doesn't look too bad. You know what I mean? Also, you see the laces. It's a little bit odd in the lace placement. Instead of kind of lacing right there, right and kind of up here almost the, you actually have to tie the shoes all the way up here that i found a little bit weird kind of throws me off a little bit it's okay it's all right the nike react presto looks wise it's okay you can wear it with a couple things however i do not think it is comparing with the adidas ultra boost this shoe right here just looks so clean this is the ultra boost og it's got that white boost bottom you know that black upper knitted upper it just looks oh it looks too good, the three stripe cage, it looks amazing. I can wear this for physical activity, I can wear this to the bar, it doesn't matter, you know what I mean? So I think, with that being said, the Adidas Ultra Boost is taking the appearance round. When it comes to comfort and performance, it's actually going to be a tie. So when we're talking about comfort and performance in shoes, we want two things. We want the shoe to be very nice and soft. It feels like a cloud when you're stepping in it, but we also want it to be very responsive or bouncy. You know what I mean? The shoe kind of gives back a bit when you step on the cushion, right? The cushion kind of bounces back. That way you can kind of conserve some energy. You know, your feet don't hurt a lot when you're walking a lot the entire day. So this is a tie because the Adidas Ultra Boost on the one hand is the extremely soft shoe. When you put on this shoe, you are just sinking into a cloud. It feels amazing. It is probably the softest shoe I have ever worn in my entire existence, okay? However, the responsiveness, it's pretty responsive. It's not bad. However, the Nike React Presto takes it when it comes to responsiveness or bounciness. This shoe is just, it's fun to walk in right? The bounce back in the cushion is just absolutely incredible. You're wearing this and the shoes feel like so bouncy. It's like you have like these little mini trampolines like under your feet. It just feels very bouncy and it's not over the top bouncy. It's still perfect and in check. It makes it fun to walk in these, right? So this round is a tie because the Adidas Ultra Boost on the one hand, this one takes it in terms of softness. Nike React Presto takes it in terms of responsiveness or bounciness per se. So how are we gonna break this tie? Well, nothing other than the price point. When we're talking about the price point on these two shoes, the Adidas Ultra Boost, we're talking Canadian dollars. I bought this for $249 plus tax. It was basically like 300 bucks, okay. You can find it on sale some places, you know, maybe like 210, 220, 180, 170. If it's an older pair, maybe 150, okay. 
The Nike React Presto, on the other hand, the Nike React Presto, full price, 160 bucks Canadian plus tax. And if you find it on sale, 150, 140, 130, 120. So in that case, we must crown the winner, and it is the Nike React Presto. If you are not satisfied on that and you need kind of another tiebreaker, let me give it to you. If you're willing to spend the $300 on the Ultra Boost and you need more motivation to get it, if you're planning on doing any running, the Adidas Ultra Boost is made for a lot of running as well. You cannot run in the Nike React Presto. So in that case, you would go with the Ultra Boost if you have the money to spend, right? And you're planning to do a bit of running. But if you're planning to do just a whole lot of walking, right? And you want a great shoe, a great responsive, soft, comfortable shoe that looks pretty good on foot and at a decent price point, the Nike Rag Presto is the winner. So, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. And yeah, have a great day. Peace out. Deuces. Bam. Later.